Today I'm going to demonstrate how to share a folder in Google Drive using both methods. To create a new folder in Google Drive to share, click on New. Select Folder. Name the folder appropriately and click on Create. Your folder is now ready to share. First, locate the folder you would like to share and right click on it. Select Share. The top method here allows you to select individual people who you would like to share the folder with. You can choose to add a message here and you can change their permissions as either viewer, commentator or editor. We're going to leave them on editor as this is the most powerful permission you can grant someone and click send. The folder has now been shared and you can see that with a little person icon on top of the folder. If you can't remember who you've shared the folder with, just simply right click the folder, go to share and you will see their email addresses here. If you'd like to remove a person, simply click on their status and hit remove. Now let's show you the other method of how to share a Google Drive folder, which is actually the easier one, but less secure. Right click onto the folder you would like to share, select share. In the bottom option here, click on change to anyone with a link. Make sure that you change your permissions for anybody with this link to editor. The link will be displayed and you just need to copy the link and hit done. Open up a brand new email, type the person's name he would like to share the folder with and a suitable subject and paste the link. Send the email. Now looking back at our folder, we can see that there is a small person icon on top of the folder. To view the permission status, you can right click the folder, go to share, and you can see here that anyone with a link can access this folder, which is why it is not as secure as people can forward the link to other recipients. To revoke access to this folder, simply right click the folder, select share, click on change, change the anyone with a link option back to restricted. Hit done. You'll see that permissions have been updated and the person icon on the folder has been removed. Okay, I hope that's helped. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the Office Expert so you can receive more tips and tricks. Thanks for listening. See you next time.